Hello, so in this video I would like to show you how to record Skyrim smoothly without losing any of your frame rate. So basically not slowing the game down at all. So you're going to need two things. You'll need the recorder and a frame rate limiter. If you're wondering why you need to limit your frame rate, it's because basically if if you don't limit it, then the game is going to take all your resources, all your CPU, and all your video card, and then there's not going to be as much left for the recorder. So you want to give that headroom to the recorder to give a smooth recording. Okay, so the recorder you want is Bandicam. This is what I recommend. And it's not free, but you can try the trial out and see how it goes for you. And if you like it, you can buy it. And that's what I did. So you need Bandicam, just go ahead and go to download and then direct download or you can go to here if for whatever reason the direct download doesn't work. And the other thing you need is DX Tori, which is also a recorder but we're not going to be using it as a recorder because it also has a frame, frame rate limiter built into it. It has a feature so that's what we're going to be using from DX Tori as our frame rate limiter. Okay, so before we start, I want to say, go ahead and on Bandicam, click Target, and then make sure it says Rectangle on a Screen. Very important for this tutorial. And then you can go up to the top where the Bandicam, you can't see it on my video, but right above your little triangle, I mean your rectangle, you should see like the little bar. So click the number on the top left it should be like whatever x whatever click that and click find window and then you just click on skyrim and it'll put the thing over skyrim like perfectly and it's actually pretty important that you use find window because if you're recording thing if the little rectangle is actually on the game itself it creates a lot of lag so you're going to make sure it's perfectly aligned and sometimes what I have to do is click find window and do it a few times if it's lagging it and then it'll finally after a couple times it'll get the perfect spot to where it doesn't lag. And by the way you need Skyrim in windowed mode or else this just isn't going to work. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up DX Tori once you've got everything installed. And it's important that if you use DX Tori in Bandicam like I am, that you open DX Tori before Bandicam. Because if you don't, like I'm currently doing actually, because I have to record with Bandicam. But anyway, if you don't open it before Bandicam, it actually kind of gets confused. So you gotta make sure you do that. Um, okay, so you want to go to this tab, the advanced tab with the little motherboard looking green thing here. And basically, what you do is you click on your game and then it shows a green number. Mine won't do it because I have Bandicam open and it's making it glitch. But, um, yeah, let me actually redo this. Okay, so I've taken my own advice and done it properly, open DX story before Bandicam. So now you can see, when you click on the game, you'll see the number in the top left, the green number. I'll move it around so you know what I'm talking about if you somehow don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that is your frame rate, and that is a indication that DX story is on your game, or locked onto your game and it knows what you want. So what we want to do is... Once we have that green number, we want to check limit video FPS. And normally I would say limit it to half of your monitor's refresh rate, which is usually 30. But for Skyrim, we have to do a little bit of... We have to change it a little bit because Skyrim has a bug where if you are at 30 FPS, or basically if you're under 32 FPS, the loading screens take forever so we have to unfortunately have those two frames a second that are skippy it's not really that noticeable um so go ahead and put 32 fps limit it and while you're in game you'll notice 32 fps if your computer can handle it and it should stay at that 
Otherwise, if you aren't limiting it, it may go anywhere, 60. If you look at the sky, you know, it's not limited and it's kind of jerky. So I always recommend to limit your frame rate whenever you can. Not only when you're recording, but just anytime, just to save on heat and I don't know, it's up to you. But so now you can see I'm moving and it should be a smooth recording at 32 FPS. Although on Bandicam I have it set to 30 FPS. So I'll go over Bandicam settings very soon. But I want to show you the effect that a frame rate limiter has on the recording. So now I'm going to unlimit the frame rate, basically like not having DX Tori open. And this is how it records. It should be a bit skippier. I'm not sure if it's going to be, but I'm going to assume it is. Especially when your video card starts getting overworked, that's when it really becomes a problem. Like when your mouse delays, when you move the mouse and it takes a second to move, stuff like that. That makes that makes Bandicam really struggle. So we want to limit it. All right, so that's out of the way. Now let's go to Bandicam after I make Skyrim go black. Okay, so my settings are just do whatever folder you like. I like to put it in my videos folder and you can just mess with that to get that going. Um, advanced, you don't really need to mess with. You really don't, unless you want to do a different language. And wow, it has a lot of languages and apparently more. Cool. So now let's go to video. Okay, so the easiest way to get the settings that I would recommend is by clicking presets and then click for edit premiere slash Sony Vegas. And that's exactly what I use actually. I use that preset because for me it's, it gives the best results. However, for a 24 minute recording, it, it was about 7 gigabytes. So kind of going to consider that, but it's fine for me and I hope that's fine for you. Otherwise, I think you can use this one, which might make them the videos a bit smaller and you can mess with the quality and it'll make it a bit smaller and more tolerable in the gigabyte thing. <laughs> so that's the settings I use. It gives me It actually gives me a, a smoother recording than this NPEG one. I don't know why, it just does. Even though it's a bigger file and stuff, it, it's kind of weird. Anyway, go to settings over here for record. And then here's where it gets a little tricky, but not really. No, 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 it's not tricky. So just make sure record sound is checked. And then um, if you want to record your microphone and the game, I recommend if you have Windows 7 to put one of these, either primary or secondary, put one of them on Windows 7 Sound, Windows 7 Sound, and put your other one on microphone. Or mine's kind of microphone then. Don't ask why. <laughs> but yeah, so do that. And if you have an, an editor, like um, Sony Vegas or any good video editor, then what you can do is you can uncheck two sound mixing to get separate audio tracks for your microphone and for your game sound. That way, if your microphone's too quiet, you can edit it in your video editor. Because if you have this checked and you mix them, then it's all gonna go into one track and you can't make your voice any louder because they're mixed into one. Okay, enough about that. So, that's about it. So, oh, hotkeys. What was the hotkey? How do we... Oh, right here, right here. Okay, so just configure your hotkeys and then you can either click start here or just press the hotkey. I just press the hotkey. And then it starts recording. And then by now, hopefully you have DX Tori set to limit your frame rate and then you've got Bandicam also recording. And if you would like to get the green thing out of your way because, you know, you don't want to really record the green numbers, there's a shortcut on here, there's a hotkey you can use to move it around. And that one would be
be toggle overlay status position. And I just put it on my numpad, the period or delete button on the numpad, because it's I never use that key. And when you press it, it moves the number around. And then once you get here and press it again, it completely hides it. And then you press it again, and it goes back to the top left. So it's like a cycle. And there you go. That's about it, <laughs> really. Um, so I, I think I'll just end this here because I can't think of anything else to mention. Oh, and this also works for other games. Like any game, basically. Um, but as far, like I said before, as far as the frame rate limiting, if it's a, if it's a different game than Skyrim, just limit it to 30. Okay, well that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or ask in some way. Leave a comment, message me, I don't know, whatever you want to do. So, hope you enjoyed, and I hope it helps. Bye!